वेलकम टू अवर चैनल माय नेम इज निकिता फ्रॉम बीआईएसपी सॉल्यूशन इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पेमेंट मेथड इन ऑरेकल एचसीएम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट व्हाट इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पेमेंट मेथड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पेमेंट मेथड और ओपीएम कंट्रोल हाउ यू पे योर एम्प्लॉयज एंड थर्ड पार्टीज OPM interact with payroll definition payment source payment rules pre notifications and link the personal payment method with your organization payment source after setting up the banks bank branches and bank account that you use you can define payment method for your organization OPM include key information such as payment type currency and company bank information you must create one organization payment method for each combination of legislative data group payment type and currency that you use to disburse wages and other compensation so let's move on to the application here on the home page click on the top right of the page and then click on setup and maintenance option go to the task area and then click on the search option here find the manage payment organization payment method for existing one select the legislative data group and then search for creating new one click on the create icon select the legislative data group here fill the name then select the payment type when you create an organization payment method select a payment type the exact list of payment type and their names can vary by the country then select the currency currency is typically defined as the name currency as your company source bank account define currency in the opium for payment transfer you then next is a payment information use payment information reason to capture detail for your payment Uh, details the exact content of this reason can vary based on the selected payment type and your localization you can also uh, and you can enter payment information at the organization payment method and you can also enter the payment source information and if you want you can enter both both of the level so i add into the payment source in uh, payment source information then uh, next is a pre notification what is a pre notification the pre notification or pre notes are typically zero amount electronic entries you send to a bank to verify the routing number and account number of the receiving bank pre notification required means uh, designate the pre notification is required for the employee number of days required for pre notification is a wait period until the waiting period is complete the employee is paid by check for example if you set the pre not wait period to 10 days depending on the timing for weekly payroll run the employee may receive two checks before the direct deposit begins so you can uh, fill according to your preference here then i move into the payment source option payment source identify your company bank account debited for uh, payroll payment you must associate at least one payment source to an organization payment method so let's see the 
PPT for the payment source. The validation occurs to ensure the bank account on the payment source are available for payroll payment. It is must be associated to the payroll statutory units. You must either assign a PSU legal entity to the bank account or assign a legal employer with a parent PSU to the bank account. You can see here. And you must select payroll in the account. Use option for the bank account and uh, must have active bank account you must assign a bank account that's active of uh, at that time of the payroll payments so you have to create to primary ledger then assign to uh, legal entity and then the legal entity associate the psu and legal employer and then create bank account and uh, enroll for the account to use for the payroll and then create the payment source so this is how payment source work so let's move on to the here for creating the payment source so fill the payment source name Then select the bank account. When you select the bank account name, the bank name, branch name and number country automatically populated here. I uh, told you, you can enter payment information at the organization payment method level or you can enter the payment source level or if you want you can enter the both level so i fill the bank name here and if you want to add any other detail you can add here like transaction limit and payment limit and if you want to add any other detail you can add here then click on the continue option Okay, so this warning is about you must associate at least one payment source to an organization payment method. So next is a payment method rule. Payment method rule define the appropriate payment source to be used for payment to a specific group of pay. If you define multiple payment source for an organization payment method, you must set up payment method rules. You can define a standard payment method rules based on the tax reporting unit of an employee. You can also use the payment criteria features to set up payment method rules to drive the payment source within a single GRU such as rule based department job or location then click on the submit option let's search for our organization payment method So you can see here our payment method is created. So this is how you can create organization payment method for your organization. I hope it is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching.